and this is Don Larson and he's got some things he wants to talk about. Well, I'm, I'm at the meeting tonight because um, Mar Marple is uh, a working class community below 70th Avenue. There's still a lot of uh, relatively low rent apartments. I'm concerned that the city of Vancouver is not protecting the working class people that are left, that are doing all the hard jobs in this city. Um, we don't have a community plan here, yet very large developments are being rubber stamped by this mayor and council. And uh, that includes the Safeway project, which is too high, uh, too bulky, too much density. That's that 70th and Granville Safeway redevelopment site for high rises and high density with a little, little, little pocket park and uh, a vague promise of, a, of money for a library there. And so I'm, I'm also very discouraged about the um, marine landing, which is at uh, Cambian Marine on the edge of Marple. This is uh, 32 stories, 28 stories, 26 stories, and I think maybe 12 stories. Uh, that's at the uh, Candeline substation. I understand the, the concept of density at, st at stations, but this is ridiculous. 32 stories across from existing two-story residential uh, community across the street on Canby. So there's a very quiet, orderly community there. And now they're putting up 32, 28, 26 stories. My, my other concern regarding the marine landing is what you call development levy costs. And I spoke to the PCI developers of this marine landing project at Cambian Marine, and they told me it's 20 to 30 million dollars of development cost levy money will come from that developer up to City Hall. And there's also something called Community Amenity Package. Contributions, CAC. Yeah, contributions. And that's supposed to come back to the, the existing community for amenities. My concern is this council has lost uh, vision of what is happening to this money. They are putting this money into general revenues. It is not coming back in a systematic, proper fashion to the communities that are impacted by very high density projects. So what you need at Marine Landing is at least a four to six acre new park on the Fraser River at the foot of Camby. My other concern, we've gone through this uh, process with the City of Vancouver I'm looking for 1.14 million dollars of money that we were promised with we, we absorbed a 16 acre asphalt bus yard that moved from uh, 41st and Oak down to Hudson and Marine. We didn't want 16 acres of asphalt. We didn't want all those buses. It got put on us anyway from TransLink and the city of Vancouver and is as compensation we got a little trail which we fought very very hard for that goes nowhere uh, on the Fraser River beside TransLink bus yard and 1.14 million dollars on May 16th I approached the Vancouver Parks Board I followed it up with a letter in June to Mayor and Council both letters went to Mayor and Council and Parks Board where is the 1.16 million dollars that was specifically earmarked for Marple because we absorbed this huge bus yard and for new parkland acquisition. That's what the money was only for. I have heard nothing back in over five weeks from, from the Parks Board or the, or the Mayor and Council, where is our money? If I put my hand in your wallet right now, you get very, very upset. But they, they've got $1.14 million of, of Marple's money. And I think I should be a little upset. Mm -hmm. I just think this is very wrong. So, so they're uh, basically uh, putting in a general revenue or, it's, or just spending it's it It's getting on. lost in general revenues. Yeah. And nobody's honest enough to even say that. You're not even getting that information. You're getting nothing back. Nothing. Nothing. Stonewalled. They want to talk about generalities, abstractions. We're all for greening. We all win. We all like greening. We all like the color green. You know, like Kermit the Frog is green. But when you start talking about specifics, Marple is a park deficient community. We need a four to six acre park. We need some parkland down here at the foot of uh, Granville Street. Um, not just developments, not just huge marinas that cause uh, all kinds of pollution in the Richmond Slough at the foot of Granville Street. This is one of the largest marinas in Vancouver, in the Lower Mainland that's being proposed there. 
They're going to cause all kinds of pollution by the kind of dredging they do. They're going to dump all this toxic sediment, tremendous amounts of bargefuls of toxic, toxic sediments from the mills that were there on the mouth of the Fraser River, out there where Wreck Beach is. They're putting in cancerous chemicals and they don't care. The, the, uh, the, the environmental groups are just looking the other way. And I'm talking about government here, not, not um, you know, nonprofits. Awesome. Thanks, Don. That's powerful. Thank you very much. You're welcome.